Yo, welcome back to the channel. So we're back. I'm back in Nosy B. Back at the bungalow location. It's a nice sunny day. Very, very bright. So we're gonna go check it out, see what the what what the plan is, what the boys have been doing. They've only been working for one day. I took them off work when I went to Tuliar down south for a trip for two weeks. I've just come back and I stopped these lads from working while I was down there. So this bungalow here, they put stone in the base and then smaller stone on top of that, rocks and then small stone. Made a hole there for the shower, they're going to have the shower here. So that's where the pipe water will go out there. It's looking good, ready to cement, I need to cement this up because I need, I need this accommodation finishing because I've got staff coming from Tulia to work on another building job that we've got going on in Nosy B. So I need to get this finished so they've got somewhere to live. Getting the well, the well's coming on. Just started it again yesterday, just building it up. It'll be done today that, in a couple of hours, Vita. Happy days. This hut, nice big double. We've turned it into a big family hut. You have like plenty of room for your living room, for beds. Beds on the other side of this wall here. You can Already a bunk bed in there, but um, plenty of room there. There's going to be a small shower area here for this one, and then on the other side, this bit here will be the outside toilet in there. Pretty good, looking all right. Just need to get some small stone in this one today, get that finished. I'll send them because luckily, the small stone is literally about 100 meters away from here there's a person just just up this road here that does it so we can carry it back in sacks nice got the sand castles going on here happy days so funny story i'll tell you something about um the uk uk justice system a couple of years ago i went back to the uk and i was going to be there for like three months so i bought a cheap car for like 500 pounds 600 700 dollars or something and um used it to drive insured it and then dr drove around in it for like two or three months after three months i said to me mate i said listen i'm going back to madagascar i said um can you um sell that car for us he said yeah yeah no worries but he, he doesn't drive he does he's never sold a car before he doesn't know nothing about it so he just he just sold the car for 500 pound and then he um Decided that like, it'd be a good idea to to waste the money, so he wasted the money, so I lost the money as well. And I was like, ah, oh, what are you doing, you? You know, and he paid me back, like you know. But at the time, he he used the money, right? So I got no money from from the sale of the car, and then on top of that, he he give the logbook, the the vehicle paperwork, to just to the buyer, just give it to them, no signature, no nothing. So that person decided to take it to another city about 100 miles south called Preston and just drove through speed cameras after speed camera after speed camera and ended up with 12 lots of tickets three points each which is a, a driving ban <laughs> for him so he ended up with with a lot of trouble this this guy who bought the car but it was still in my name <laughs> so he and it didn't he didn't end up in any trouble and when I got back from Madagascar after like two years of COVID lockdowns and I was in Madagascar the whole time, I've got like 200 letters, 250, 300 letters to open and I'm opening them all like, and I come across right one, one from the court, then another one from the court, then another one, loads of them for summonses. You've got to come to court. You've got to come to court. You've missed your court date. You've missed your court date. So I'm like, what? And then I realized that, the, that one of them, there is a court date another they've renewed it for like four days time in preston 100 kilometers away so i'm thinking yeah. just not even that i think it's 50 50 kilometers maybe right so i'm thinking i'll just go there so i turned up just for just for a laugh really to be honest with you like because it wasn't my problem I, i've got proof i've got my passport i've been in madagascar i wasn't here yeah so I was I was sound in my head, you know, in my my brain. Now I'm done. Anyway, they say say ah oh, no 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 no, you're responsible 
because we give you six months to provide the name and address of the driver if it wasn't you. That's the law. And I'm like, but I wasn't here. I wasn't in the country. I don't live in the UK. Yeah? I live in I live in I live in Madagascar like most of the year. You know, like eleven and a half months a year I live in Madagascar. So she's like yeah, well, unfortunately, what I can do is, is we, you, there was fines issued in the past. I can cancel them, but I'll have to renew the fines. And the fines in the past were like £1,460. And I'm thinking, right, so you're going to cancel them? And she said, yeah. And, I said, she said, and then she said, oh, but I'm going to have to renew them, but I'll make them smaller. And I'm thinking, really? That, that's nice of you. You know, that's very lenient. For considering I've done nothing and I can prove it wasn't me, you know what, what? What sort of a justice system's going on here, like? So I think, all right, I'll play along. I'll play along. So I'm just stood there, like in the dock, and I'm thinking, like, go ahead, do your best. So she said, right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a fine of six hundred pound and um, a driving ban of six months for the topping up of the points, and um, all's good. So I'm like. Right, all right, yeah, thank you very much. So I said, well, what's the plan, like? What, what happens? What happens if I don't pay the fine? The driving ban, I said, the driving ban's no problem, madame, because I'm I'm going back to Madagascar in about two days' time, like, you know, three days' time. I'm going back fast, like, so um, I don't need a driving ban. I've still got my driving licence. I can drive in Madagascar. It's not a problem on my British driving licence. I'm happy, yeah? So it's not about that, but the fine, what happens if I don't pay the fine? And she says, oh, well, um, if you don't pay the fine, um, you could get your car towed away. I said, well, I haven't got a car. My mate sold it. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I ain't got a car. Right. So anything else? And she's like, um, well, yeah, they can um, they can make you pay the fine. I'm like, oh, yeah, how, how's that? How's that? And he's like, well, they can increase it if you don't pay. I'm like, oh, right. What happens if I don't pay the increased fine? What happens then? Said, oh, you could get, a, it could ruin your credit rating. I said, credit rating. I said, I said, I'm not looking to to spend money. I'm looking to make money. I'm 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 collecting money, not not giving it away. Yeah. Last thing I want to do is borrow money. At the moment, I'm good. I've borrowed everything I need on mortgages, on business loans. That's the only place you need to borrow money. <laughs> so, getting back to the story, I haven't paid it. And nothing's come of it whatsoever. So that's the end of that. That's the end of the justice story. Like, uh, I don't see why I should have paid it. I wasn't going to pay it. And I'm not scared of anything they could do to me. What are they going to do? Put me in prison for 14 days. It's a holiday prison in the UK. You get a TV, a kettle, a PlayStation. You get everything. Paradise. Paradise. Just a nice, nice little vacation for free. You can't, you can't go wrong. Especially if you've got a passive income. To, to grow in your bank account while you're in prison, not spending anything, that's great. But nah, nothing came of that. But that's the story for today. I'll, co I'll come up with another story for tomorrow or from my past in Madagascar or, or in England, probably Madagascar, most of it. But it, I'll, I've been around the world quite a lot. I've got a lot of stories. Right, that's it. Give us a sub, give us a like, check me other videos, hit the bell.